My name is Patty Cooney. I live at 5 Canterbury Path in Carver with my family. I am a lifelong resident of Carver. Carver Concerned Citizens asks you to vote yes on Article 42 to protect our drinking water residents in town. This puts an 11 and a half month moratorium on commercial sand and gravel mining. This gives us a chance to address all of the residents' concerns about water, dust, noise, trucks, and more. There are many sand and gravel sites in Carver where excavation is happening every day. They cover hundreds of acres. We don't even know how many active sites there are or what the impacts are. Every day we see big tractor trailer trucks loaded with sand and gravel on our streets and passing by our homes. Landowners are mining for gravel, topsoil, and silica sand. This is very profitable. Some of these sand mines are right next to homes. The mining operations emit silica dust into neighborhoods. It covers homes, cars, yards, decks, and it gets into houses. When you breathe in silica dust, it can cause cancer. Residents are constantly exposed to the excessive noise from cutting trees, crushing large rocks, sorting and processing the sand and gravel. Homes shake and vibrate from the mining operations and the trucks. Wildlife is losing its habitat and invading people's yards. Mining operators level big hills, then mine in the groundwater aquifer to get more sand. This sand and gravel is the protection of our drinking water. Once it is gone, we can't replace it. Carver's water comes from wells in the Plymouth Carver Soul Source Aquifer. The aquifer is very easily contaminated and once pollution gets into it, the pollution travels fast. Neighbors to the mining sites have wells that are contaminated. The town laws say this is not supposed to happen. The Earth Removal Committee is responsible. They have to be approved by the selectmen. The ERC keeps issuing permits for these sand and gravel mines. This isn't right. Vote yes on Article 42 to put a moratorium on sand and gravel mining.